Okay, today's topic is uh, idioms and phrases for, to describe people or situations with people. It's a vocabulary lesson. And we're going to start with ram something down somebody's throat. If somebody rams a topic down your throat, they keep talking about it. They are obsessed by this topic. You know, this is very negative. You're criticising somebody when you say they are ramming something down my throat. And, you know, I think a lot of topics are rammed down our throats. When I was growing up, while I was at school, the environment was rammed down my throat. Global warming was rammed down my throat. We learnt about global warming in geography. We learnt about it in personal and social development. We learnt about it in biology. We learnt about it in a lot of different subjects and it was the same every time. And in the end, you know, when somebody tries to ram something down your throat, usually you have a negative reaction to this. You don't like it and I certainly didn't like it. But you can have modern topics, you know, diversity is a word which is rammed down everybody's throat nowadays. Sustainability is another word which is rammed down everybody's throat. Yeah, and so anything which is, is any time somebody tries to force you to listen to something, they are ramming that something down your throat. They're forcing you and it's annoying. It's an obsession. Now, when you draw the line at something, this means that you say that is my limit and past that limit, I shall not go. Yeah, I will not go past that particular limit. And so you might say something like, um, I don't know, um, um, what, what do I draw a line at? Uh, um, I enjoy, um, uh, so I enjoy doing lots of um, exciting sports. So I enjoy lots of exciting sports, but I draw the line at bungee jumping because I think that's dangerous. Or I draw the line at, could be anything, you know, I draw the line at, what else is dangerous? Motorcycling, yeah, motor racing, something like that, because I think it's dangerous, yeah? And so I'm just using it as an example to show that when you say I draw the line at, you know, uh, doing this, you mean I won't do that because that is too far. That is too extreme in some kind of way. And that goes beyond my own limits. The line is a limit here. That's what it means. I draw the line. I, I, I you know, can say that that is my limit and past that limit, I won't go. So, uh, yeah, I, I love, um, I, maybe you love uh, risky sports, um, adrenaline, you know, sports, sports which cause a rush of adrenaline, but you draw the line at parachute jumping or you draw the line at bungee jumping. Now, if you have second thoughts about something, maybe you're going on a bungee jump and then suddenly you have second thoughts and you think, hang on. I've heard that sometimes there are accidents, yeah, sometimes there are problems and sometimes people die. And so I'm having second thoughts about that bungee jump. Maybe I won't do it. Yeah, that's what it means. When you have second thoughts about something, you think maybe I shouldn't do it. Maybe I, maybe I shouldn't do it because it's dangerous. Yeah, well, maybe I shouldn't do it because it's bad for me. Now, you can have second thoughts about anything. Let's say that you uh, propose to somebody and they say yes. And so you are going to get married. But right at the last minute, you have second thoughts about getting married and you think, oh, maybe it's not good for me. Maybe I shouldn't get married to this person. Maybe we're not really in love, something like that. Well, then you are having second thoughts about getting married. And another way of saying that is you have got cold feet. This get cold feet is sometimes, is most of the time used about marriage. Yeah, when somebody gets cold feet, it means they are engaged to be married and they suddenly think, oh, no, maybe this is a bad idea. And of course, lots of people have second thoughts before they get married. And that shows that they're not confident about their choice, about their decision. And so they get cold feet. Sometimes you'll see this get cold feet at synonymous with have second thoughts. And what I mean is sometimes it's not about marriage, but most of the time it is. But you, I can imagine that some people would say, oh, I was going to have a bungee jump, but I got cold feet at the last minute. So that is sometimes a synonym of this. But most of the time it's about having second thoughts about marriage. OK, if you keep somebody in the dark, then you don't tell them something which perhaps they want to know or they ought to know. You keep them in the dark. Maybe you have um, a good reason for keeping that person in the dark, but keep somebody in the dark means keep that person uninformed, okay? 